guys, this is the updated flashlight torch app that I've built. It has no ads and no unnecessary permissions and proof that to you by going here. Uh, it only asks for the camera permission to to actually do the strobe light, but it's not necessary. And it doesn't ask for anything else. So by default, you could just set this up. And on when you first open the app, it does it automatically because that's the usual feature. So this is the screen glow app. If you don't want to use the flashlight, it saves some battery. And this is the strobe feature. Set it faster or slower. And if you don't plan on using the bottom two features, you could shut them off here. And you just get the flashlight, and that's it. But also, we added a widget, which I'll put another one out here. You could customize the color, and this will be the color in the active state of the widget. And then you could press it, and it turns on. And just delete the other one. And this is beneficial because if you don't have quick titles or if you can't access it for some reason, then you could just hit the flashlight here. And you could change the color. You could put on any screen you want to. You could put multiple times. And that's essentially this flashlight app. It comes in a. Let's see. Okay. If we clear everything. So it comes in at around 2 megabytes, which is fairly small. I'm still working on removing unnecessary features and trying to shrink the size, but it's still a very good size compared to some of the third-party flashlight apps, which I do not suggest you use.